Hello, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. This is episode 4. Today we're going to be having some fun with this little brick right here. And just for fun, let's name it Jimmy. Okay, hello Jimmy. Today we're going to... We're going to script you so that you turn transparent when we touch you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it so that it turns transparent upon touching the brick. And let's not forget to anchor it. I just recently put this brick into the world. So, uh, now we just got to put a script into it, so, script, double click that, and here we are in our script, um, which is inside Jimmy. Uh, the name of the brick in this case does not matter, but sometimes the names of bricks matter. If you want to, I don't know, I'll, I'll get into that in a, another time maybe. So, <clears throat> in this episode, we're going to talk about events. Now an event is obviously something that happens when um, when something happens. I don't know. So here's our brick. Uh, so we want it to we want it to go transparent when it's touched. Well, how do we know when it's touched? We can't just say. Um, so first of all, let's let's make a tag. Remember last time I talked about variables, like we said, like x equals ten or something like that. But we can set other things to actual objects. So we can set x to the part. And to do that, we say we say x equals script dot parent. Now <clears throat> you, you might be confused, but um, so the script we can say script um, when we are scripting inside a script, lots of scripts, and when you uh, let me explain. So, when we type script, it obviously means the script. If you notice in this, uh, in the Explorer window, when we say script, it's talking about this. And then when we, um, when we say script dot parent, the parent is whatever the script is inside, and each object can only have one parent; it can't have two. And in this case, the parent is Jimmy. So, let's say Jimmy. The i and the j look to the same. Let's say just let's just say part equals script dot parent. <clears throat> okay. Um, actually, let's make it brick. Let's say brick. So brick equals script dot parent. Now, um, how do we? Because we're going to be using the brick quite a bit, uh, and you'll see why. So now, how do we figure out when the brick is actually touched? Um, by the way, I don't know if I explained this before, but you can comment you can comment out code just like that. So now now that I put the two the two hyphens right there, it will not run this code. <clears throat> this is good for testing purposes and stuff like that. So if we comment that out and then say, um, or no, we don't need to comment this out. Never mind. So let's say uh, brick dot transparency. Remember we did this with the character before using the command line. But in this case, we're just going to use it with a brick. So brick.transparency equals, let's go, 0 0.5. This will turn the um, this will turn Jimmy transparent as soon as we run the game, not when it's touched. So let's exit this out and then run it. As you can see, it's a little bit invisible now. So um, we need to fix that. <clears throat> in fact, I wouldn't even call it a, a fix. It, this would be an entire change. So we're going to write this code later again anyway, but let's just exit out for now. So what we need to do is, this is called a connection line. Um, we say brick.touched colon connect. Um, hold on. Actually, instead of writing that first, let's write the actual function first. So we need to create a, our own function and then we can call that function whenever we want in the code and in this case we're only going to call it once when the when it is touched so to create your own function you'll see what I mean you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute I'll explain function um, and then that will turn blue if you spell it right <clears throat> and then you name the function so what what do we want to call it um, name it something descriptive like uh, turn in or er, turn ghostly Let's say that. So when you're naming a function, you normally want to uh, keep the first word lowercase, 
and then if you have any um, additional words after that they should all be capitalized it's a little weird but uh, yeah that's kind of how everyone does it and it's a proper way to do it turn ghostly uh, and then have two empty parentheses um, we will use we'll, we'll, we'll put stuff inside these parentheses in other scripts that we'll write later but in this case just leave them empty so turn ghostly and then let's see so then what we need to do is uh, we actually need to make it so everything inside this function we uh, this is where we're gonna tell it to do stuff so uh, what do we want to do we want to say brick because remember the brick is Jimmy uh, dot transparency equals 0 0.5 and also you can just do 0 0.5 but I like 0 0.5 because it's easier to read sometimes and then make sure you have an end so you need uh, you need to have the ends that the the code knows where the function actually ends. Um, if you don't have this, it will um, it will continue thinking that the entire script is is the, in the same function, but that's not what we want. So um, uh, so now we have our function. Um, it should it should turn transparent when we touch it, right? No, it doesn't. And now, in fact, when we run the game, it's not going to turn transparent. Um, if we reset the game, let's try going to play solo. <clears throat> okay, we touch it. It still does not go transparent. Um, that is because we we defined the function. That is what it's called. We here. Let me exit out and then get into the script so I can explain. Here is the definition of the function. We're saying okay. We have a function called turn ghostly, and um, this is this is what it does, and um, yeah. So, but we never actually told it to run. We just said that's what this is. So we need to tell it to run, and we need to know exactly when it needs to run. Actually, just for fun, let's do this. Let's say turn ghostly, and then the two um, empty parentheses, and and then if we run this. This will actually turn it invisible, and let me explain why, in case you don't understand this yet. So we defined it, and then we called it. This, by calling it, um, to call it, you simply type in the function name that you want to call, because you can have multiple functions in the same script, but in this case, we're just going to have one, and then you do the two uh, empty parentheses. And um, in case you don't know what those are, you, you can just hold shift, and then um, and then press nine and zero on the on your keyboard to use those. Let's see. So, but we only want to call it. We don't want to call this when the game runs. We only want to call it when it's when the brick is touched. So we say brick dot touched. And it's weird that you use the dot um, because you know you don't you normally use the dot for when you're looking for objects inside another inside another object um, well you also use the dot for events and touched is a certain event which obviously um, activates upon being touched by any brick so brick dot touched and then you use a colon and this because this is um, connect is a method which calls a function I can't explain why this needs to be done but this is how okay I can't explain why we need to do this because um, I don't know who decided this needs to be written like this. But anyway, use a colon and then connect. And then inside the two parentheses for the connect, uh, you put the function name. So turn ghostly. Okay. Um, so now this brick will only turn transparent when we touch it. Um, let's go ahead and save. See if, so let's run this just to make sure. Okay, it's not turning transparent. Now if we go into play solo. <clears throat> okay. And we're just gonna touch it and bam, it's it's invisible now. Well not really invisible, but it's it's ghostly now. It's a ghostly brick. Jimmy the ghost brick. Yeah. So um yeah, so we um, we have successfully made our script work. Let's uh, jump back into it here. Yeah, you'll sometimes have this random touch interest thing. I don't know. Uh, something that ha that seems to happen whenever 
you uh, use this touched in scripts. I don't know. Just you don't. You can even delete the touch interest if you want. I'm just gonna leave it there. So uh, brick that touched connect turn ghostly. So yeah, the reason you need these um, parentheses is because yeah, sometimes you'll put stuff in there. In fact, the next episode I think I'll explain what these parentheses are for. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to explain. Okay, so um, let me just go over this script one more time. At the top we have, this is called a tag also, sorry my mouse is so weird I have to hold down the the, uh, the mouse button hard or otherwise it will just think I released. But anyway, the the brick, um, we're just setting, we can, we can also set this to Bob or something but we're just gonna say brick because that's more of a more of an accurate description. So brick equals script dot parent, which I explained before. You can say script um, to uh, to say, well, this is the script that we're working in right now. And then the dot parent, and the parent is Jimmy. So now whenever we say brick, we don't have to type script dot parent every single time. We can just type brick, um, just for simplicity. So then. Um, and what happens is the script runs and it says, okay, well this is a function called turn ghostly with the parentheses. Um, don't forget those. Uh, again, script is very delicate and you can, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty flexible. You can, um, you can like name this whatever you want, stuff like that. But if you, if you like have an extra dot here, it's just going to break the whole thing. If you have any red lines, it means the script isn't going to work. Um, yeah, so you notice the the red line on the bottom. If you wave over name expecting near, sometimes that description that it gives you is a little weird. But anyway, I got totally sidetracked. Anyway, so then it's saying, well, in this function, we're just going to set the bricks transparency to 0 0.5, and then the function is called when it's touched on this line. So it's saying brick dot touched, and then uh, colon. Don't forget the colon. It's not a dot. It's not a dot, it's a colon. Um, connect. And then the parentheses turn ghostly. Be sure to spell everything correctly every time you every time you type it in. And um, this has been episode four in Roblox Scripting Tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next video.